G'day, I'm Rob Paxavanis and welcome to Fishing Australia. Today, we're in Tasmania's absolutely amazing southwest wilderness. We're going to see some incredible places and along the way, we're chasing trout. And not just the little guys, we're hoping for some fish of a lifetime. I'm in Tasmania's southwest wilderness on a mission to find the trout of mythical proportions that populate this part of the state. Tasmania is known the world over as one of the very best trout fishing environments. And while I've had the privilege of fishing around here many times over the years, the massive specimens that I've heard about have eluded me so far. This adventure had landed me in the Derwent Valley Shire about an hour's drive west of Hobart. It's here that I've met up with an old friend, Dave Dick, a trout fisherman who comes from a long line of fly anglers. The Derwent Valley is home to the Tyena River, and while we we're yet to land a monster, the trout we have caught so far have been pretty impressive. Oh, I've got fish, him. Big oh big fish. fish, big fish, big fish, woo! Oh yeah. Holy dooly! Here we go. Holy dooly! That's what we're here for, mate. <laughs> Just like that. There are parts of the Tyena where you can find up to 150 trout along a 100 metre stretch. And while there are never any guarantees in fishing, the chances of landing a decent sized trout in this river are very good. Rather than conventional fly fishing, the technique we're using here is called check nymphing where the flies are heavy and sink down deep right to where the fish are. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Got him. <laughs> you really just, often the fish are just 10 feet in front of you. Yeah, right there in front of you, yep. You can't quite often see them with the camouflage. Yeah, so well, you have to just we... assume there's something there and fish it hard. And with this glare, we can't see the fish at the moment, but we just inching our way forward a, a step at a time. We spotted some fish from the bank earlier laying along this run and you just got to assume they're there and fish it and really work that area in front of you, maybe 10, 15 casts and then make a step, you know, roughly and then go again. And um, just basically getting those nymphs straight past their face. What a beautiful technique and a lot of fun on the 11 foot rod, Dave. Oh, it's nothing like a long rod, mate. And, Magic. And, and this is a three weight, which is quite light for a fly rod. Normally on a river on a standard fly fishing, you'd be maybe using, you know, four or five weight. So the, the idea behind it is, um, because you're using very light tippets, you uh, don't want to break the line. So the light rod gives you a lot of shock, shock absorber. A wild Tasmanian brown trout on the check nymph pattern uh, on technique. <laughs> Maybe not yet, we've got to get him yet. Yeah, we haven't landed him yet. <laughs> I'm claiming victory early. Oops, he's gone. <laughs> Too early, <laughs> we'll catch another one. <laughs> gotcha, first yeah, cast. First cast. <laughs> <laughs> On the right hand, I'm yeah. left-handed. <laughs> there you go. So we haven't moved here in um, Don't know, rock me. Oh. an hour. And we've hooked three or four fish, maybe more. Going and, off. Uh, it's, yeah, how good's this? Go, Dave. Nice fish. Yeah. The water's about 10 degrees, so. We've got some mumbo. The fish are quite active here. Beautiful, cool water here in Tassie, pristine environment. No, you don't. And uh, the trout since 1863 have just loved 64. it. 64? 64, one year <laughs> off. <laughs> That'll do. I can grab him. Bring him around yeah, here. Yeah. You got him? Oh, I'll grab him. I don't mind. Bring him otherwise. Look at that colour. Yeah, all good. Look yeah, at that. Magic fish. Yeah, beautiful brown trout. There's the golds. Yeah. And he's taking the top fly. So we've got two flies on here at the moment. The one taking at the, the bottom 16. is called the, the point. The one on the top is called the dropper. Yep. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Look at the golds. Yeah. That's tying a gold, that. Come Experiencing this remarkable corner of southern Tasmania is definitely a must. The Derwent Valley and Russell Falls offer visitors a truly unique Tassie experience. Reaching into the Mountfield National Park, the scenery is stunning. 
and you'll find some of the best rainforest and alpine walks in southern Tasmania. Whether you're here to fish like us or to simply experience this amazing wilderness, there is so much to see and do. And you can find out more by going to discovertasmania.com.au. Next on Fishing Australia, from the river to the lake. Our visit to Tasmania's southwest wilderness would not be complete without stopping to marvel at the Gordon Dam. This is a brilliant example of the feats of our engineers and skilled workers, both past and present, whose vision for sustainable energy stands as a blueprint for today's modern way of life. Built in 1974 and rising to 140 metres, it is the tallest dam in Tasmania and is higher than the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The Gordon is one of 55 dams operated by Hydro Tasmania, who have the enviable reputation of being Australia's leading clean energy supplier, powering Tasmania for over 100 years. I learnt that Hydro Tasmania takes pride in protecting the environment and ecology of our lakes and supporting recreational activities, which is why they actively manage water levels in a number of popular highland lakes to support their ecology and the world-renowned recreational trout fishing. Some of these lakes, like Pedder, are open to trout fishing all year round. For the benefit of anglers and other recreational groups, Hydro Tasmania publishes up-to-date information on water levels and water flows on their website at hydro.com.au. This helps anglers plan where and when to fish. The website also has boat ramp locations and other information that anglers will find helpful. Our next stop in the Derwent Valley is Lake Pedder. It may sound strange, but Lake Pedder has too many trout, so the locals encourage you to keep your bag limit, so the average size gets bigger. I'm a bit excited, I must say, Dave, <laughs> the famous Lake Pedder here, which was iconic uh, when it first filled and fished brilliantly for massive fish through the 70s. It did, yeah. Uh, but fishing great, again. Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. Abundance of fish here, so, yeah. And wild fish? All wild fish, all naturally spawned. Yeah, so it's not stocked? No, it's no stockings, no. One original stocking, that was it. It's a big lake too, right? It's, I think it's 246 square kilometres, I think. So. A lot of little nooks and crannies you can get out of the wind? Heaps of nooks and crannies, but this is probably the best basin to hide from the wind, so with the wester today. Now, your friends might cringe, might say, hey, what's he doing trolling? But it's an easy way to catch a trout, right? It is an easy way to catch a trout. What have we got here? Some little shallow runners and what's the plan? Yep. Yeah, we'll just uh, yeah, go for a trial and run them around the edges and see what we find. You confident? Oh, I'm very confident. Always. Lake Pedder. I like that. Let's get him in and get going. All right. There you go. <laughs> Five minutes of trolling, bang. It's just on here, isn't it? It's great. When they're on, they're on, mate. Yeah. yeah you yeah. get the occasional quiet day, but oh, most of the, most like time's it. pretty good by the sound of it. Yeah, all trout fishing's like that. Occasional quiet day, and you're here on the right day, you have an absolute ball. He's not a bad fish either. Where is he? Can't see him, mate. Here he comes. I'll bring him in the seg. He's not very happy at the moment. Here we go. Oh, got him beautiful, as the little came out. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, it's always handy to net the fish just as the little pops out. What a beautiful fish. Yeah, solid, look at that. Yeah. In beautiful conditions, the, the, the flesh is absolutely magnificent if you want to eat a fish. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. A crustacea diet then? Yeah, yeah, lots of natural yabby here, the native yabby. Okay. Little black yabby with fluorescent orange spots on them. Now, this one's going to go for the smoker? Uh, yeah, could be a smoking fish, yeah. Doesn't look like a spawner, so I think the smoker's... Nice plump fish? Yep. I usually take two for the smoker each, each trip, let the rest go. 
Yeah, you can see the attraction here. You know, if you look on a global scale, people around the world that are into their trout fishing look at that and go, what a remarkably conditioned fish. Beautiful, fully finned fish, you know, genetically pure, pristine, yep. Yep. amazing stuff. Lake Petta is just one of many star attractions in Tasmania's stunning southwest. Also in the Derwin Valley Shire is the Mountfield National Park and the enchanting Russell Falls, where visitors of all ages can enjoy an easy walk through a magical rainforest up to cascading walls of water. There is so much to experience in this part of Tasmania, an abundance of natural wonder and beauty. For more information about Tassie's amazing southwest, make sure you check out discovertasmania.com.au. Still to come on Fishing Australia, a myth comes to life. I'm in Tasmania's southwest wilderness on a quest to find the monster trout that I've heard inhabit these parts. With me is my friend David Dick, and we're patrolling the waters of Lake Petta a couple of hours west of Hobart. I heard a lot about this place, Dave. A lot of good things. I'll tell you what, it's as good or even better than I expected. It's, it's, it is phenomenal, really. Yeah. It's, it's easily top five in Tassie, oh, but yeah. I've visited anyway. Yeah. The, the numbers of fish, I mean, it's such a fertile, pristine lake. Now, we've caught, you know, half a dozen or more fish in a short time, uh, had just as many bites. And considering it's a lake of, you know, almost 250 square kilometres, but because it's got so many little nooks and crannies, the shoreline is extensive. There, there must be a million trout in here. There's got to be. Oh, probably say millions. Yeah. <laughs> millions, yeah. yeah. You'd think so. Yeah, it's, it hasn't disappointed. This place is... <laughs> Rarely bad. disappoints. Oh, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I knew Lake Petter was a fertile fishery, but this was beyond expectation. It's, um, look, as many fish as there are, you've still got to do everything right to catch them. And, you know, even when you are doing everything right, some days it's quiet, you wouldn't think there was any fish in here. But um, most of the time, it's pretty good fishing. I think it'd be safe to say, even with basic skills, if you came trolling around or spinning off the shore, you've got a red hot chance of catching a couple of trout. Uh, you know, with a bit more experience, <laughs> someone like Dave, you're gonna get your 20 and 30 fish. I'm sure they'll respond to a lot of different techniques. There he is, a beautiful, or she, beautiful little hen there coming up again. I might just lift the oh. I'll get the net, mate. Yep, get the net so we don't bend the hooks. Yeah, that's right. Not a hook in the hand. Yeah. Not at this stage of the day. There you go. It's one of the smaller fish for the day. Yeah. Still a beautiful Still fish. Still over a pound? Yeah, and that'd, that'd be... Most people would be very happy with that. A little mm, bit further Fantastic back. fish. Yeah. On your little custom-made lure there. <laughs> yep. Old custom-made. Oh, it's nice to catch something on you've made yourself. There's a bit of an art to that too, making lures. Well... Mrs. Brown Trout in Lake Petter, in the Tasmanian World Heritage listed wilderness in the southwest. Ah, you get to go back home. The trout just kept on coming in. And even when we were thinking about heading home, these little guys had other ideas. There we go. Another nice fish grabbed on the lure here. It, it's nice when you can come somewhere and um, Put your lures out and relax, look around the lake and be picking up a fish every sort of 10 to 15 minutes. Not always that good, some days it's hard and some days it's full on. A good day out here, Dave, how many? Ah, oh, you get your bag limit easy, mate. Classic brown trout fight rolling around down there. What a lovely fish. You got that net ready, mate? Yeah, right. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. This might be a little male, possibly. Can't... Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lure came out. Ooh. Good timing again. Where did that lure go? Because but it's a male. It is a male. Yep. Yep. You can see the longer. A longer jaw there, just give it the comfort lift, let it lie over there. Come on, mate. Yeah, slightly longer mouth there, see yeah, that? That's the male. Yeah. And just, just in fantastic condition. Well, it's a real bonus to have fishing this good. Uh, I mean, you can see why trout fishing, well, the attraction for a lot of people is look, look at it the nature of the countryside, the peacefulness, you know, especially with electric motor or when you fly fishing, you're just, you're taking in nature. Great time to talk to friends about what else is in the area. And there's a lot to see and do here for the whole family. I mean, you know, bushwalking, history, sightseeing. Oh, it's just- Bird it's, watching, it just, the list uh, goes on. Yeah, and it's the land of the giants here. Everything, because it's so pristine and remote, everything gets big. 
great place to spend a, a day or more with some friends or family. You know, I'd love to get my kids up here when the fishing's this easy. Usually trout fishing's a lot harder, so you can catch a couple of fish and learn a lot about a magnificent place. It's like bushwalking, really. We'll pop her back, you know. You... Bushwalkers get to see and do so much, and fishermen get to see the mm. same yeah. while they're yeah. doing what they love. Fishing heaven. Yeah, oh, it is. It really is. <laughs> It was time to call it a day, and Lake Pedder had lived up to its reputation as a trout fishing haven. And wherever you may be fishing around Tasmania, there's a group of professional trout fishing guides that can help you achieve your trout fishing goals no matter what your skill level. For more information, check out troutguidestasmania.com.au. Next on Fishing Australia, the mother of all trout. The Tassie Trout Adventure was coming to a close, and after several days, we'd enjoyed catching some trophy trout. The final day in Tasmania's Derwent Valley was going to be about having a few more casts back at the Toyana River, soaking up this amazing southwest wilderness. Fishing with my friend Dave, a local trout angler who knows these parts better than most, we returned to a place where we'd spotted a couple of huge fish a few days earlier. While we fished, I sent my film crew away to the southern end of Lake Pedder to capture some of the extraordinary scenery from a place called Red Knoll Lookout. From this vantage point, the Franklin Range reaches across the horizon and the majestic Scotts Peak rises up from the lake. But there were some serious trout rising out of the water back at the Tyena too and the trout of mythical proportions was no longer a myth. Got him, got him, got him, got him, Dave! <laughs> you beauty, mate. Got him, I got him, I got him. With the film crew out of range, it was up to Dave to film all this on my little pocket camera. Just hooked the absolute trout of a lifetime. This trout was huge, and at over 25 pounds, by far the biggest trout I'd ever hooked. That is massive, that is the fight was going to take some time, but patience and a good dose of luck would hopefully help me bring this beast home. Please, please, But I had it, and this was an achievement I would never forget. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's it's got to be the biggest trout of my lifetime. Um, Dave's guesstimated 25 pounds over the 10 kilo mark. It's got a, a growth on its lip there and we've actually hooked it right in the nose with one of Dave's secret flies. And that, my friends, is the stuff of legend. However, this Tassie thriller wasn't over yet because as my film crew returned, Dave brought the Tyana to life with another monster even bigger than mine. I'm sort of lost for words here. Oh, jeez. Um, look out, here look, it comes. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but Dave has just hooked. Something the size of a tuna. Holy cow. <laughs> He's off the beast. Look at the size of it. It doesn't, it hardly knows it's hooked, mate. Yeah. Um, I thought the fish we'd caught earlier were big. This is just next level. Look, look. <laughs> Lead him there, mate. Lead him there. Lead him there. Lead him there. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I've never seen you nervous, mate. I've never seen you nervous. <laughs> Look at that, that's gonna keep the head of that fish in the water. I couldn't believe it when he's come past us in the river. <laughs> he swam, swims past us and sits there. So this fish has probably swum up from the Derwent. This is a big I'd fish so. that's been eating a lot of protein. <laughs> I've never seen this far fish with him a lot. I mean, you've got me onto 25 pounders, right? And this is significantly better, bigger again. This is a 30 pound wild brown trout, the likes of which has probably never been filmed in Tasmania. I haven't touched him yet. There you go. <laughs> you, won't, you won't see this. He's been telling me I've been catching 10 pounders. He's not even worried about it. Look at that. Oh, let's get this fish back in the water. Just let's reflect on this for a minute. 10 pound, fish of a lifetime. I've got friends that have 
fished all their life with me and have them crack the 10 pound mark. What are we doing with the fish, Dave? It's your call, it's your fish. I don't know where to put him on the wall or let him go, mate. I'd make, it's tough to make the decision. I think we should let her go. Um, you have just turned our Tasmanian trout fishing special into the next stratosphere, Mr. Brown Trout. Just give that gills going a little bit and then away she goes. It, it's the fish of three lifetimes, mate. Oh. We've got some stories to tell back at the National Park pub tonight and it's on tape. Mate, from everyone at Fishing Australia, Tasmania. <laughs> Beautiful scenery, epic trout fishing, and if you're lucky, <laughs> the fish of a lifetime as well. Even though five pounds is a fish of a lifetime. Come and tell me some stories about those, mate. Right, let's go, mate. We'll see you next time. This was the realisation of 30 years of searching for a wild trout of epic size. And we caught not one, but two. It was tempting to retire and go back to chasing the usual size trout. But rumour has it, there's another spot in Tasmania where they get even bigger. <laughs>